Brooks, a graduate teacher at the University of Oregon, picketed today, hoping to reach a deal with the administration after 12 months of negotiations. KZI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow shows us what the main sticking points are and why it's taking so long to reach a deal. The Graduate Teaching Fellows Federation hit the pavement today and demonstrated their power in numbers. This could be the final day of negotiations for what graduate teachers are saying is a vital contract. And after a year of negotiating with UO administrators, they say they're hoping for a light at the end of the tunnel. I hope for the end of today is to reach a tentative agreement where they agree to our wage increases and support for international GEs along with our health care benefits. When they say support for international graduate teachers, they're talking about this. They have visa fees, they have, uh, you know, they have the housing costs they have to deal with. And what we're trying to say is that, you know, the university is bringing them here, they've recruited them here, uh, and they're going to be working here, that to try to at least defray some of those costs, especially in terms of the visa fees that they have to pay to be able to come to the university. With 12 months of bargaining, you would think U of O graduate employees would be tired. But from the looks of today, they're as ready as ever to get the contract they say they deserve. The president of the GTFF says she thinks today will be the final signal to UO's administration that they're serious over what they're calling the bare essentials. Now we're making sure that last push, we have that 3% that keeps up with inflation and we're protecting our international colleagues. I reached out to officials from UO for comment on the matter, but they were unavailable. Union officials tell me that if they don't finalize an agreement by tonight, they'll be having another negotiation session in a couple days. On October 18th, union members voted to strike if the deal can't be reached. In Eugene, Emma Withrow, KEZI, 9 News.